can panic, you robbed me of my culture with no problem, and now you're about to die here like Dennis Rodman, I told you, thought I told you in Obadiah that you don't want no beef like empanadas, I've been here, yep I've been here, if he got a yellow thin here, he can't come in here, you don't even got no melanin, you need some skincare. I vote Christ for president, don't bring your sin here I'm on a different element, my people must read You heathens just suck, my people succeed Hocus pocus, the white kid in a daydream They painted their likeness, dropped the smoke screen I ate below up, they gave me protein They screaming peace when there ain't no peace. Israel, proper sign in the streets. Look at me, the center of attention. Black Messiah, coming with a vengeance. Coming with a vengeance. Black Messiah, coming with a vengeance. They screaming peace, it ain't no peace. We proper sign in the streets. We seeking peace in the streets of Babylon. Brandison, Glock 40, tucking heat like a carry on. Sending the gifts to fathers, got me sleeping, not napping on. Christ the King revealed this aerial phenomenon. Kicking against the bricks, lose your soul when that fire comes. We purify, better than gold, got my Bible on. And that's all that I know, where Babylon gon' fall, watch it blow, ayy. Hey. Switching it up, the nation gon' drink it, I'm talking to cup, don't care what you thinking, believe in the gospel, the God is stinking, the fires of heaven gon' gather for dinner, the eat of the flesh, the wicked, the sinner, your mama, your sister, your daddy, your cousin, you get their issue. If they mind, they don't repent. They screaming peace when there ain't no peace. Israel, pop a sign in the streets. Look at me, the center of attention. Black Messiah, coming with a business. Coming with a business. Black Messiah, coming with a business. They screaming peace, it ain't no peace. We pop a sign in the streets. Uh, IUICC, we in the streets with it. Beast with it, with it. kings and the priests with it. My people sleeping, got them dreaming in the sheets with it. So we spit that holy fire, bringing heat with it. We out here fighting for better days. Most sins make better slaves. Gotta come together on the seventh day. Lose 11 and I levitate. One plus 11, heaven gates. 12 tribes, no reprobates. Kingdom come, I can never wait. But the praise of science never separate. Christ coming back with a legion of them angels. Picture perfect prophecies, trying to find my angle. Hung up from a tree and they watch his body dangle. So the vengeance of the Lord coming down, you in danger. They scream in peace when there ain't no peace. Israel, pop a sign in the streets. Look at me, the center of attention. Black Messiah, coming with a business. Coming with a business. Black Messiah, coming with a business. They scream in peace, it ain't no peace. We pop a sign in the streets. Golden wedges of all fear. Look at here, we the prophets of the most high, the only God I fear. Killing your career as a Christian, shed a tear. Jesus take the wheel, I'ma let the scripture steer. Joseph interpret dreams, but I don't think he could imagine it. See, in the last days, Jacob told him this would happen. And we let loose, we some loose cannon. Pace saints on the scene, and this kingdom we commanded. Purple and gold, no LeBron James. With King Christ, we gon' see better days. Now you not free, cause you got money. You a slave, the most high on his throne, but holding all our ways. They screaming peace when there ain't no peace. Israel, pop a sign in the streets. Look at me, the center of attention. Black Messiah, coming with a business. Coming with a business. Black Messiah, coming with a business. They screaming peace, it ain't no peace. We pop a sign in the streets.
All praises, all praises, all praises. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Most high in Christ, bless. Most high in Christ, bless. This is not escaping the plantation. This is fix your face Friday. <laughs> but yes, we wanted y'all to be able to call sir. in, so <laughs> we got the number at the bottom of the screen for y'all. I'm also get a light at IUIC Jackson, Mississippi to my right. Officer Mathon. Oh, praise. Where you from, brother? Don't come over yeah. here and tell nobody where you from, brother. But yeah, um, I see St. Louis. Okay, I'll pray to the most high. It's my brother right there. I've known him a long time. To my left. Officer Adonijah. To my far right. Officer right. And to my far left. Y'all don't throw up now because the camera's going back and forth. I'll praise. <laughs> you got the tennis of it. <laughs> what you say? <laughs> right. Tennis of it. Somebody, somebody going to uh, be sick from that. But I'll praise to the most high. Welcome to another episode of Fix Your Face Friday. Filling in for the Oklahoma City crew, the mighty deacon, captains, officers yes, of Oklahoma City. Sir. Gonna be filling in for them tonight. All praises to the Most High. I got a question for y'all, prophets. I got a question for y'all, prophets, man. Can y'all can y'all enlighten me? Can y'all help me? What you got? Huh? Can you can you help me, bro? Yeah. What, what what you got? How can a bishop be blameless and gay? Blameless and gay? How, how can he be blameless and gay? Bro, what are you talking about, man? That I'm, sounds like that's not like a contradiction in itself, <laughs> blameless and gay. Right. It's like two things that don't mix. What's that, what's it called? What an oxymoron? Right, 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 <laughs> right. Oxymoron, <laughs> blameless and gay. That's, it. that's what I'm trying to figure out. You understand? But because how can you be up and down? Right, right. How can you be right and left? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Anyway. That's the name of the title of this episode tonight. How can a bishop be blameless and... How can you be blameless and a homosexual at the same time? That don't make no sense. Because when you think about blameless, you think about morality. You think about God's commandments. Blameless according to something, right? So with that being said, um, that's been the topic of discussion all day today on Clubhouse. It's okay. You're going to be all right. You gonna I'll be praise, I'll praise. yeah. You gonna be all right. I know you. I know you don't know what Clubhouse is. <laughs> hey, it's you think, coming. You think it's, it's you think, coming soon for nah, hell, yeah. nah, hell, nah. <laughs> for Sam If it do, it's gonna be watered. Down. Nah, you gonna keep the promise hey, off. It's coming soon. <laughs> Boy, it come to Android, it gotta be censored. Hold, hold on, understand? Israel. I'll pray to I hold out Israel. You crazy? Hey, but hey, pull up them pictures I had sent. Uh, that's been the topic of discussion on Clubhouse today, right? Um, somehow, how can pastors? Can pastors be homosexual and still be able to lead a congregation or lead? No, sir. Now they can lead a congregation to hell. Right. Right. <laughs> so this is I, I mark I, I excuse my squiggles, but I had to mark their faces out and stuff because I didn't want nobody saying we were slandering them or nothing or you know. But I just wanted you to show you the topic of discussion today on Clubhouse. Can you be a gay bishop? Now in the middle of a what? pandemic. Right, and you know the coronavirus is getting worse. Jake walking around here like everything all right. The coronavirus, the coronavirus is getting worse. Brothers and sisters is dying at an alarming rate. Right, so they still people still talking about their lust. They still talking about can you be a gay bishop? Can you be a gay pastor? Can homosexuals get the kingdom of heaven? People still talking about that. Right, and not for edification so they can do the right thing to change, but to try to come against the the gospel, the truth. Right, give me the other picture. It's another picture as well. This two different groups in one day, y'all. This has been the topic of discussion all day on Clubhouse. Come ask a gay pastor. Act like you got some sense, though. That, what the hell is this? Who that mean? Who they talking about? Damn. They talking about, they talking about the prophets. Because they know we step in the room. Oh, the Israelites is in the building. Right. Yes, sir. <laughs> the Israelites in the room. For real, man. So, we're going to dive into that today. How can a bishop be blameless and gay? All right, so let's start off. Um, give me that video, Pastor Storms Off. Jesse Lee Peterson. Now, he a coon. But he got some, he he, he know how to, uh, what is it, antagonize? He know how to agitate people, right? And he'll agitate you if you're not sound in what you believe, right? So, he interviews this brother, who is a homosexual. He's also a senior pastor at a church. He interviews him. What? And he asks him some tough questions. Start at five minutes even. Right? Let's start at five minutes even. I think this brother was on another video we showed one yep, time. Yep. Damn. This brother get around, huh? 
<laughs> <Bruh. Literally. laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> right. But uh, yeah, let's play that. No, for sure not. Are you a homosexual? I am a um, same gender loving man. So it doesn't mean you're a homosexual? It means that I'm a same gender loving man. But just for, I'm black and slow. Okay. And just for the record, does that mean you're a homosexual? <laughs> I, yeah, I could be considered a homosexual. Are you considered? I don't want to think of you if yeah, you're not. I'm a homosexual. He put, hey, pause, pause. Right. And right. hey, he right. pulled it on out. He... <laughs> Semantic. Hey, he pulled Got it on out, you boy. He said, hey, 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 the, the brother, he didn't even want to admit that he was a homosexual. Right, you right. Know, it took him, like, what, three attempts from the actual right. admit that right. he was what he was? Like, so what does that mean? It means he confused. He, he don't. Yeah. He knows he's yeah, he knows he's wrong. He know he ain't right. Yeah, he he know that lifestyle ain't right with the Most High. He knows it, right? And and he done hit him. I don't know why he like. Does he don't not does he not tell them what he gonna ask them before they come on the show? Like, don't he know that people know he's a gay pastor? He's put it out there on on the internet that he's a gay pastor. So don't he think if Jesse Lee Peterson of all people who you know is against homosexuality, don't you think he gonna question you about that? That just makes sense, right? For him to question you about it. But the brother didn't even want to admit it. That shows you that there's a, there's a, a, a guilt, a deep-rooted guilt inside him that he knows is wrong. But watch this. Let's keep playing the video. A homosexual pastor? I am a homosexual pastor, yes. How long have you been a homosexual pastor? <laughs> um, I've been a pastor. Um, he didn't want to say homosexual. Eight years, uh, senior pastor. And then before that, prior to that, um, I was a youth pastor. Oh, okay. Why do you think that God would call a, a person, a homosexual, to be a pastor but not change him? Oh, oh, oh. So, See? Um, I don't think that God majors where we minor. What? Uh, no, Paul. So I think Bro, what? what are you talking about, man? What's wrong with these people, man? God doesn't major where we minor. Huh? They say that in the church and the whole church go crazy. Amen, brother. <laughs> Amen. Uh -uh. Go ahead. I think that what happens is I think that we put limitations on God that God doesn't have. Um, for example, um, we could, in if you go to seminary or something like that, you find out that there's a thought process that God could possibly be a woman or that God could be this, or that God could be that. That God can be whatever it is that you need him to be. You believe it's, that he can be a woman? I believe that God can be whatever it is that you need him to be. So can it be a homosexual too if you needed him to be one? Dang. Well, honestly, I don't think that God, God, the Bible says that God is neither male nor female. What? So how so, can he be a woman then if he's not a female? Well, uh oh, got him. That, so there's a book that's by... Pause. Um, Uh-oh. Let's deal with that. Go to uh, Exodus 15 and 3. Bring it out. Hey, that's crazy, bro. Hey, he said, I think God could be whatever you needed to be. He said, so... Hell no. So he could be a woman. He's like, well, I ain't saying I think he could be whatever he need to be. So how can he... If he need whatever... What, 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 you, what you getting at? He done confused the brother. He done confused me. I'm confounded. I'm like, God, no. What, that's what some deep stuff he just said. I'm perplexed. At work, hey. Get what you got. Get what you got. The book of Exodus, chapter 15, and verse 3. Just, look, just on the fact of if God's a man or a woman. Let's just get that out. The, let's get that out of there. Come on. The Lord is a man of war. The Bible says the Lord is a man of war. God a man, bro. He's a man, okay? That's and, and, right. And it's, it's okay. Accept it, brother. You a black. This is why I was thinking. I was just thinking about this because I watched the movie uh, Judas and the Black Messiah before I came, right? Yes, sir. And our forefathers... Fred Hampton and so on and so forth, they didn't have the scriptures as far as the understanding that they were Israelites. But the brothers had passion for their people. They had passion for revolution. That's you can't right. be a gay revolutionary. You just can't be. God set up the Israelite men to be revolutionaries, to be mighty men. That's what we were supposed to be. Christ was a revolutionary, right, Paul? All our forefathers... They couldn't be a revolutionary lusting at the men they supposed to be going to war with. Lusting after the brother that's next to you in the uh like even even um in um like in the army, right? Because you got brothers that have been in the army, right? You in the you in the trenches, right? You in the foxhole. And the, you you getting shot at by another <laughs> country. They they shooting at you. But meanwhile, you look at the dude next to you like, what them screw where you where you wear them fatigues? 
What the hell going on, man? Hey, get focused. We're going to get killed out here. Oh, my God. I said, oh, I said, oh, my God. Hey. You messed up. You ain't right. Let me, let me, can I get a Go ahead, yeah. Uh, go to uh, the New Testament, John 5 and 17. He said, God can be whatever you want him to be. Right. But let's what? see what Christ said about his about his uh, father. John chapter 5 and verse 17. Yeah. But Jesus answered them, my father. My mother. My father. No, my whatever I need him to be. But Jesus answered them. My father, Dang. my father, a, a man. <laughs> my son ain't looking to right. to my wife and saying, "My father." Right. No, he looking to me, a man. <laughs> Finish that. But Jesus answered them, "My father worketh hitherto, mm. and I work." So all praise to the Most All high. praise, man. All it's praise. all through the scriptures, man. Right. You destroy that doctrine real <laughs> easy. This brother crazy, that's right? There was, a, there was a thing in seminary where they say that God could be either man or woman. Hey, but that's the thing. It goes to show you how unlearned these Christian pastors are. Right. Dude just said, hey, God can be whatever you want him to be. But then Jesse Lee Peterson hit him over the head, and he got confounded instantly. First right. 30 seconds of the interview. Right. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you cut already. I hate to see the, the last 18 minutes. Damn. Show that real quick. 18 minutes. It's like a 19-minute vi uh, video. Let's go Go ahead. Show it for us. Yeah. I watch by... Who's the book? There's a book that is written. It's called... Um, it escapes me at the moment. Well, that's all right about the title. What about the book? But in the book, um, the <laughs> principles of the Unnamed. book talk about God swaying himself to um, to this book. And it's called The Shack by W.M. Paul Young. Yeah, it came on and out. So huh? if you read that book, then you find out that God basically finds himself congruent to whatever state of mind a person is is in. And so at one state, God is a Jewish carpenter. At one state, God shows himself as um, as a big black um, woman in the kitchen cooking. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? In the kitchen, wow. in the kitchen cooking. <laughs> look, look, so just leave Peter's like, what the hell? Black woman. I think that God can be whatever it is that you need God yeah. to be at that moment. Do you think that God can be a homosexual too? I don't, if God needs to be a homosexual, I think Wait a minute, bro. This is, wait, hold up. Pause, man. This is a delusion. Give me that 2 Thessalonians 2, man. <laughs> Bring it out. Give me 2 Thessalonians 2, verse 10, bro. This is a delusion. Hey, bro, the thing about uh, uh, Mystique from X-Men. Right, right, right. right. Turn it whatever you want to turn into. <laughs> God a chameleon. God could be whatever you want him to be. Damn. If, uh, well, you never read about God having a wife, right? So, in the, in the, in the defiled mind... You be like, see, brother, God never said he had a wife, brother. So therefore, he might. You know, you be like, what the hell? This too, you too deep. Right. <laughs> it ain't that deep. <laughs> it ain't that deep. It's real simple. <laughs> God, a man, he don't need no type of sexual pleasure, nothing like that. He's God. He created all that. Right. Right. And he created us to do that so that we can bring forth children. Right. But he even said the angels not. The angels don't get married. Right. You don't hear you about know. the angels, man. What they have need for? They don't need pleasure in that way. Right. But this the carnal. Defile evil mind starts trying to think on the think on the realm of God instead of reading God's word and seeing clearly what God say. What he need that for? You understand? Watch this. Get that real quick. The book of Second Thessalonians, chapter two, and verse ten. You can't make this up. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness. See, the brother deceived, and you know how he deceived. He spoke about seminary school, which we call mm. cemetery school, because you go in there to right. learn death. Go ahead. In them that perish. And yeah, he on his way to perish. And if he don't repent, read. Because they receive not the love of the truth. Because they don't even receive the love of the truth of this Bible. God's law, statutes, and commandments. Right? Read. That they might be saved. That what? That they might be saved. So they ain't saved yet. You're not saved, Christians. I know you like to say that. I'm saved and uh, sanctified and highly favored. No, you're not. Washing the blood. <laughs> Washing the blood of the lamb. <laughs> Go ahead. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. That they should believe a lie. The Bible says God sends strong delusion that you will believe a lie. Right? So we're going to come back to the video. Give me the, the Wikipedia about homosexuality and how I was uh, diagnosed in the past. Mm. Right? Let's get that. Because God said he's going to send, us, send uh, our people that do not have the love of the truth. He's going to send them a strong delusion. Can you see that, Officer Ryan? Can you see that? Let's read that. Homosexuality and psychology. 
The field of psychology has extensively studied homosexuality as a human sexual orientation. The American Psychiatric Association, Association excuse me, listed homosexuality in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. So, it was once known as a mental disorder. Now, hold that real quick. Go to um the Merriam-Webster, whatever. Look up delusion. Let's see what the word delusion means. When God says he's going to send them strong delusion, what exactly is he speaking of? Because that's not a word that we use in the black community. We just say, you crazy. Something wrong with you. You bugged out. Mm -hmm. But God uses the word delusion. Let's see what it means. Let's pull up delusion on Merriam-Webster or whatever you got to do, whatever definition. It's pretty much going to say the same, regardless. All right. All right, pull that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it right there. Read that for us, officer. The definition of delusion. 1A. Something that is falsely or delusively believed or propagated. Go down to the next one. Uh, B. Psychology. A persistent false psychotic belief. Damn. Regarding the self. Or persons or objects outside the self that is maintained despite indisputable evidence to the contrary. Wait a minute. <laughs> hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I'm going to get my Martin. I'm going to get my Martin on. Hold up. Hold up. Go back. Go back. I got to see that again. Okay. Psychology, right? A persistent false psychotic belief regarding the self or persons or objects outside the self that is maintained despite indisputable evidence to the contrary. Bro, all you got to do is look down <laughs> and see that ain't that, you, that's supposed to be used for something different than what you're trying to use it for. You understand? That's, it's very simple. Hey, pull up, pull up my picture that I had you pull up. I think it was like last Sabbath or something. Pull up, because even in plumbing, <laughs> I'm trying not to be graphic. Bring even out. in plumbing, right, you know, okay, for instance, say that it's a leak in, 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 up under the sink. I, I can go to the Ace Hardware or one of these stores that sell PVC pipe or whatever, and I can say, hey, I need a female end and a male end. They're going to take me to the section, and you're going to see the grooves that are in the female, <laughs> Uh, for the male to go into it. Yeah, for the connector. It's very simple, right? It's 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 it's, it's easily it's, it's evidence that easily disputes the logic of homosexuality. Look at this: the female adapter is meant to receive, the male adapter is meant to insert. It's very simple. We grown here. We grown ups. We ain't kids. I think we know that, right? right. But if I were to take two male adapters and knock them together, it wouldn't make no sense. Just like if I were to get two female adapters and knock them together, it wouldn't make any sense. People would say, hey, bro, you're going to have a leak. If, if, you cut, if you try to hook that up <laughs> and cut the water on, it's going to be a leak, man. What are you doing? <laughs> you're going to look crazy in the, in the realm of plumbing. But when it comes to human beings, you can clearly see that this ain't right. But despite indisputable evidence, they have a delusion on them. That's what a delusion is. It's, a psych, it's, it's psychology. Right? It's a psychotic belief. You want to say something? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So, um, officer, okay. so real quick, you know, um, when you enlist in the Army and whatnot, um, actually um, being homosexual was, like how you said, a mental disorder. You was not allowed to be a quote-unquote homosexual and be in the military. Just recently, they kind of lifted that thing to allow, you know, um, all the Transformers and uh, transgenders and whatnot. Transforms. <laughs> Make a try. Yeah, yeah trans no, Decepticons. But yeah, Decepticons. But yeah um, it, it's, it's an actual mental disorder. So, you know I'm saying, with that being said, you couldn't, you couldn't act properly on the battlefield with that mental disorder. That's why when they say back then, on um, don't ask, don't tell. Because if you was like that on low, you couldn't say nothing or else they had to boot you out. Right. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's Damn. Like, wow. Uh, let's go back to that, um... The Wikipedia real quick. We'll go back to the video. Let's go to Wikipedia real quick. And let's, and why he getting Wikipedia, read the scripture again in verse 11 of 2 Thessalonians 2. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 11. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion uh -huh. that they should believe a lie. That they should believe a lie. So they have a psychiatric disorder, a mental disorder. That's what a delusion is. Despite irrefutable evidence, they have to come up or conjure up some type of false ideology, some type of false mindset to try to um, 
what's the word I'm looking for? To try to condone what they want to do sexually. And they call it a sexual orientation. But you're not born gay. No man is born gay. Get that real quick. Hold your finger. Get that in um, what it is. Uh, God has made man upright. Is it 729, Ecclesiastes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's been a while since I read it. God made man upright. Let's see that real quick. Ecclesiastes 729. So you can't say, oh, I was born this way. No. No. That's no, a delusion sir. that you've gained over your over your time um, in Babylon the Great. Or wherever you're scattered. Watch this. Go ahead. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 29. Bring it out. Lo, this only have I found. That God have made man upright, but they have sought out many inventions. God said he made us upright. We are the ones that sought out many inventions. We are the ones that said, hey, look, right. I think I want to be a homosexual. It's not, oh, that's how I feel. I've always felt like I shouldn't have been a man. I always felt like I shouldn't have been a woman. Like some of you may be so deceived that you think that way, but that's not the way God set it up. God made man upright. And when did God make man? In the book of Genesis, the first chapter, right? The 26th verse on down, right? He, he made man. He saw it was good, and he made a woman, and he had them multiply, be fruitful. And get that real quick in Genesis 1. Just If y'all got something, y'all bring it out as well. Hey, and, and what you was to add on to what you were saying is they try to justify their the sin. Yes. So that's that's why that's where the ideology comes in is, oh, now I got to find something I got to twist this scripture to try yes. to justify what I'm doing that is correct. But right. it's not. But it's evil as hell. Read what you got. That's right. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26. Bring it out. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So black man, you was made to rule the earth, man. Brother sitting up there with their hand between their knees and all effeminate and sl sl shoulder that. slump. Like, you was made to rule the whole planet Earth. Like, how you going to be a homosexual, right? be effeminate, and you going to tell a lion, tiger, and bear to sit down? Just sit down. You know, that's what, that's what Adam, Adam was doing. He was telling the animals. He was controlling everything. Dinosaurs on the Earth at that time, everything. Everything bowed down to this man. The most I made this man say, hey, look, you hold everything down down there. You be the God, and you teach everybody else to keep my commandments. You can't do that with no homosexual brother or effeminate brother. Now, they can come up out of that and become the God that the Most High set them up to be. But you can't be revolutionary and stand up for your people if you're in that mindset. Hell no. Go ahead. Verse 27. So God created man in his own image. So the first man, Adam, a black man, he made it, God made it in his image. He made this man look like him. Go ahead. And the image of God created he, him. Read. Male and female created he them. He made male and female, read. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply. <laughs> um, I mean, one time we was on the street and uh, we was bringing out Jews and Gentiles to a brother. You probably remember that, right? We was out there, it was, uh, it was like two years ago, we was out there and the brother was trying to contradict Paul's scriptures. Or try, you know, try to use Paul to contradict. So he was like, um, Paul said Jews and Gentiles. I just want to know what you do with that. He clapped his hand. I just want to know what you do with that. Oh, yeah. You remember that? Yeah, I, know I still remember that to this day. So I want to ask the homosexual Christian pastor. God says, and God blessed them, man, male and female, and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply. I just want to know what you do with that. I just want to know what you, you know what I'm saying? Make I want, it make sense. I want to know, like, explain this to me. Why would, the God, why would God in the beginning... As everything is being originated, say male and female replenish the earth. Say we all, say the whole world was homosexual. Then what, what, what's going to happen to humankind? Right? What's going to happen to our children? They're not going to multiply. They're not going to have children. Taking that out of context. Children. You taking that out of context. Oh, that's out of context. You taking that out of context. Oh, okay. This, oh, that ain't, oh, okay. Okay. Hey, that's okay. your own understanding. <laughs> that's, my, that's, church. that's my eisegesis. I'm yeah. eisegesis. I'm eisegeting that. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's an isolated. Okay. Okay. Well, exegete that for me then, Pastor. Please. Um, let's go back to the video. <laughs> oh, we ain't go back to the uh, Wikipedia deal. You know how I get, man. I get jumbled up. Y'all got to help me. Help me stay on track. Yeah, read that. Read the next line. Uh, what, what read it from the American Psychiatric Association? The American Psychiatric Association. Y'all can jump in if y'all got some else. 
The American Psychiatric Association listed homosexuality in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders in 1962, but that classification came under scrutiny in research funded by the National Institute of Mental Health. Read. That research and subsequent studies consistently failed to produce any empirical or scientific basis for regarding homosexuality as anything other than a natural and normal sexual orientation. Damn. That is a healthy and positive expression of human sexuality. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wow. I, I'm offended. I'm hold you guilty for that. I'm offended at this. I am offended. Uh, <laughs> this thing said, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. My mind, my brain cells just almost exploded. It said, it's, this is, oh, God. Regarding homosexuality as anything other than a natural, we just read in Genesis 1, that's not natural. And normal sexual orientation that is a healthy and positive expression of homo of human sexuality. Healthy. Not at all. <laughs> Ain't no way. Hi, healthy officer. When every time you turn around here by somebody being homosexual, they get matter of fact, I seen a statistic today. One wow. in every two black homosexual men has HIV. One in every two. Yes. Fifty percent. Fifty percent of all homosexual wow. black men got HIV. How is that healthy? It's probably higher than that. It, it, right. <laughs> so if you so if you want to fulfill your lust, you got fifty percent chance of catching um the bean. That's what we used to call it back in the day. The bean. Fifty percent. Wow. Do the robin twenty eight sixty one, man. This, hey, they said this is healthy. Oh, that's nothing more than a healthy and psychologically you're okay. It's, look, there's absolutely nothing wrong with you, okay? You're fine. What? Wrong with you? <laughs> What's wrong with y'all? You niggas are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Read that real quick, bro. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 61. Wow. Also, every sickness and every plague which mm. is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord bring upon thee. Until thou be destroyed. I hadn't read HIV in the Bible before. Nor have I read AIDS. Nor have I read gonorrhea or any other type of sexual transmitted disease, sexually transmitted disease. I haven't read those in particular. These are new age things. These have mm -hmm. just come on in the last 100 years, 120 years, 150 years. These things have come on the earth, right? So this is fairly new, right? So... The Lord says, all the sicknesses and all the plagues that are not written in the book of his law, them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. God said he's going to bring these evil diseases upon our people for breaking the laws. One of God's laws is not is for a man not to lay with another man. Get that. You know what I want? Exodus, I mean, Leviticus 18 and verse 22. God already gave us commandments on what, how we're supposed to deal. We the children of Israel. We got to be held to a higher standard. The Lord That's ain't playing with right. us. What? what you got? Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 22. Go ahead. Yeah. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. God says it is abomination. Now, the most I don't have to go into detail about how you're going to get diseases from this. I heard Captain Yashua bring that out in the class real heavy. You know how sometimes we'll read scriptures to Christians about like, why women shouldn't wear pants. And then we'll start going into like the disorder and the, the vaginal odors and all that stuff. We ain't really got to do that. God just said don't wear it. Right? Or we'll, we'll, we'll be explaining about eating pork and we'll start going into, yeah, you know, because see, the, 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 the sheep got four chambers. You know what I'm saying? The lamb and the goat got four chambers, brother. So you eat it in the good. We ain't got to go through all that. God just said you can't eat pork. Right, <laughs> I ain't right. got to break it down. That's you you right. can see the filthy beast. It's the worst, most filthiest beast on the planet. I don't have to explain you all that. Just look, just know, brother, God said if it's cloven-footed and, it, and it's part of the hoof, but it don't chew the cud, you can't eat it. I'm not going to explain all that to you, right? But yet, our people still want that. Hey, it's, it, hey, it's self-explanatory. Yeah. God said don't do it, don't do it. Right. So we don't have to go through the, 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 to into Leviticus 18, 22, and then try to explain to someone that's in that lifestyle to say, see, brother, because this is why you 50% fifty percent chance of getting aged, my brother. No, God said it's an abomination. It's disgusting. It's nasty and it's filthy and you shouldn't do it. Very simple. <laughs> uh, go back to the video. I want y'all to hear something he said. <laughs> go. <laughs> go. I don't like in the word. I don't liken God to be... Um, to 
to to be an isolated gender. So you believe that God could be a woman or be a black woman, God a homosexual. Be, God could be whatever you need God to be. And so, so does that person make God what they want him to be in their mind so they can accept being wrong? Uh oh. Or I does God switch genders and all that kind of stuff? I don't think that um I don't think that God that we create God to be whatever we want God to be in our minds. I think that it's based on experiences. The experiences of that person allows God to trans, uh, to to transform himself in whatever it is that that person needs to be. For I'm sorry, I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't do it. I can't do it no more. I can't do it. Give Malachi three and six. I can't do it. I'm sick of this. I I be trying to get through this stuff, man. We ain't gonna never get through a video on this show. As long as we host it, as long as I'm hosting. We ain't gonna never get through a video. No, sir. I can't watch 30 seconds without scriptures flying through my brain. I gotta get more patience. Y'all help me. Bring it out, huh? <laughs> Y'all help me, brother. <laughs> Malachi 3 and 6, man, please. Malachi chapter my 3 and verse God. 6. For I am the Lord. I change not. Wait a minute. No, you, God changes to fit your narrative. <laughs> mm. For I am the Lord. I change not. No, 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 no. God changes because you're a homosexual, so you want to think of him as being a homosexual or transgender or being uh, unisex. So he changes for you. Read that again. For I am the Lord. I change not. Wow. You know what? I'm offended, man. I'm offended at this. Hey, I would be too. I'm offended at this. Just Lee Peterson, stop bringing these people on your show, okay? They're making me mad. You got some? No, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Austin. Go ahead. Bring it's it out. It's wild because um, when you look at the brother, he's a big brother, right? Right. And, and like that reminds me of um the Willie Lynch letters, like how they took the biggest, you know what I'm saying, strongest male and brought him down to an effeminate state. And now look at him. I said, brother, big for no reason and just gay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> just Damn. <laughs> brother, right. big for no reason and gay. <laughs> Damn. Bring it out, Austin. Uh. Go ahead. You had a script, didn't you? Oh, no. Oh, I thought you had a script. I'll praise it. All right, look. Uh, go see if you can zoom forward in the video where he get mad and walk off stage. I just want to see that part. Zoom forward if you can. He going to get mad and walk off. If you can find it, find it. I can't see it because of the disclaimer thing. So, yeah, get get right before he walk off stage. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, just before we started the show, you said that you introduced your... Uh is he your husband or your wife? Is that your husband? He's gonna be your husband or your wife? I'm gonna end this interview. Why? Because I because what did he say? we're ending this right now. Why you wanna end? We're ending it. Well, Take right, this come off. Back. Take this off. He got offended. You want to have a real conversation? I'm having me. I'm, no, you're bullshitting me. Come back. Not, oh, he I'm mad. Not, I'm not gonna be a part of that. Come he mad, off. mad. No, you're me. bullshitting me. But why are you why are you running? Come take this off of me, or I'm gonna take it with me. Please take it off of me. Really? Because you're, you're disrespecting Pause. me. What? But no, so, man, you really Pause it. Please. This is what happens. When you when the scriptures cut, you revolt to you result to anger. Right? I wanna end the interview. All he did was say, Is that your husband or your wife? I'm confused. It goes to show you he is he is ashamed of his lifestyle. He knows right. deep down inside that what he's doing is wrong. And like when he brought it out, is that your husband or your wife? I know that was pretty funny, but yeah, it was. <laughs> hey, he couldn't take a joke. <laughs> he was cut. He was so cut. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna say. <laughs> Proverbs twenty eight one, bro. He was cut. Literally, his spirit was cut, man. He's like, you know what? He he was already had a little fate look on his face, like this nigga asked me all these questions. <laughs> <laughs> Cause yeah. Jess Lee Peterson ain't the best looking brother. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? So he ugly like, as hell. He's sitting across from you. <laughs> DC Young Fly said, "Ugly man." You know what I'm saying? He said Jess Lee Peterson was ugly as hell. So he's sitting across from him, and he looking at him like, "Ooh, ugly." Nah, <laughs> hey, you, know, <laughs> hey, you know you was roasting all types of ways. You know, ten ways of Sunday in his head. He was waiting for that thing to come out. Man, that's crazy. See, back in the day, if you had, if you was effeminate or if you was homosexual, like when I was in school, like you couldn't joke. Like you couldn't clown nobody. Like if you even opened your mouth to say a joke, they was gonna flame you for like the rest of the semester. Yes, <laughs> you was the topic of discussion in right. the, cause you know the best clowning sessions, you you see my youth, I'm about to bring my youth out, was in the cafeteria in the morning when you be eating breakfast. That's when somebody come in there messed up. Everybody got on. That's that was mm -hmm. that's when you got joke. I got joke. Everybody got joke. So if you was effeminate and or a homosexual back then, like it's, it wasn't like it is today where you gotta accept everyone and look. No, they was roasting you the and whole they, day. And, all they, and they got protection now, right? For real. If you say <laughs> something against them, now, it's like, a for real. Right. Matter, matter of fact, if you call a her, a him, him, her, I see. I'm confused. A transformer. A transformer. That's it right there.
<laughs> hey, read Proverbs 28 and 1. Dang. Hey, pull up the article about the dude that, um, the dude that with the transgender brother here in, uh, in Mississippi. Pull that up man, for me <laughs> and read that. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 1. The wicked flee when no man pursue it. So the wicked flee when no man pursue it. Why does the wicked flee? Because the wicked hears things according to the scriptures that they don't like. And although Jesse Lee Peterson wasn't bringing out scriptures per se, the fact that he said, that's your husband or your wife over there. I'm looking at a man, but I'm confused. Is that, mm -hmm. you know, are you the wife? Which, which one? Yeah, I'm confused. Because is it husband and husband or is it man and wife? I'm, I'm confused. So let me know. Dude, so you know what I mean? I mean, I mean, I, I'm done with this interview. You the big ones be the wife, right? <laughs> Damn. Damn, big old brother. Come on, man, repent, brother. We and we pray he see the video and repent, man. I'll repent of your sin, bro. Read it again. Damn. The wicked flee when no man pursue it. Go ahead. But the righteous are bold as a lion. The righteous gonna stay. So I mean, where you going? You leaving? I'm not saying Jesse Lee Peterson is righteous by any means, Hell but that's a right no. statement to say that we shouldn't be homosexual. That is righteousness because mm -hmm. righteousness is God's commandments. Yes, right? sir. Hey, um, I want to preface this with, with something real quick. Give me um before you pull that up because because somebody might. Cause first of all, we ain't no hate group and we don't condone violence, right? But give me that real quick in uh, Exodus chapter 20. Verse 14, because I don't want nobody to see this and say, or is it 13? Exodus 20 and 13. I don't want nobody to see this and say that we condone it or we making fun of the fact that somebody's life was taken, because we definitely not. But I want to show you something. Yes, read that. Exodus 20 and 13. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 13. Bring it Thou shalt not kill. So we stand on that. We believe that, right? It's in our mission statement. It's in our disclaimer. We do not condone violence. Against any ethnicity, any race, or gender. So I want to That's put that out right. there before we show this article. Let's pull up the article real quick. All right. JPD arrests man for killing a trans woman. Now, why they had to put trans woman in there? You know what that's do? That's the game pity, right? That's to make you afraid to say anything about it. The brother killed somebody. That's all that matters. He killed a person, right? right? In particular, a man. But they put trans woman. I want you to see what happened. And show you how we, we were just talking about how we confused. We don't know what should we say, husband and husband, wife and wife. What are y'all, right? Read that article real quick. Jackson police have arrested and charged Brandon McClellan, 25, with a deadly shooting on Rose Street at Grand Avenue. Go ahead. Police say the incident happened on January 25th. Go ahead. JPD initially tweeted that an adult male victim mm. was identified as the... The Dante? The Dante Jackson. The Dante Jackson, 30. So, JPD initially tweeted that an adult male victim was identified as the Dante Jackson, right? That's what they said. They, they immediately, as soon as they found out the information, they said it's the Dante Jackson. It's a male that was a victim of a gunshot wound or however he killed him, right? He did a deadly shooting. Keep reading. Two hours later. Two hours after that, somebody called in and said something. Go ahead. They updated the post indicating the adult male was incorrect. What? Damn. I'm looking at a man right here. This is a this is a brother. I'm looking at a big brother right here on the ground in the morgue or whatever. Right? Go ahead. The human rights campaign later confirmed with WLBT that the victim's name is Dominique Jackson. The name. Damn. Dante became Dominique Jackson. And we're not condoning that our brother was killed. Yes, our brother. We're not condoning that he was killed because we teach against that. But I'm just showing you that how so much pressure is put on people to say, hey, you can't call him that. Well, you can't call her. Whatever it is, hell, you, you, you just get confused in the music. I'm not going to tell you I'm just going to be quiet. Dante became Dominique, right? So it said the, the human rights campaign later confirmed with WLBT that the victim's name was Dominique Jackson, right? Go ahead. Dominique's life has been extinguished and her friend... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You missed something. Read that again. Dominique's life has been extinguished and her friends... And her Damn. friends, read... Are devastated. So they said, make sure you put that back in there, that that's a woman, a transgender woman, a man that was trans tran transitioned to a woman. Go ahead. Her family was devastated. God, re. And so many of Dominique's friends are trans black women who are fearing for their lives. Wow. Even more so than they were before, Human Rights Campaign State Director Rob Hill said. That's propaganda right there, bro. Mm -hmm. Right. That's propaganda right there. That is some propaganda for you right there, bro. Wow. So I, I was because you mentioned that. You said you, we confused. We don't know what to say. So you said that this popped up in my head. Right. Go ahead, uh, Hosanna. I just was going to say, that shows you that even when, you know, he, of course he our brother. 
Right. But even when, you know, our people in that lifestyle and they pass, they still have more rights than us. Because Damn. you look at it, when one of our yeah. brothers gets shot down, they family can't call the news and say, hey, take that negative Facebook post down, Why? which I said about my son. Damn. Right. But yeah, they can, they can do that. If we do it, we get slandered and called a hate group. The SPLC just put something out about us the other day. Jackson, Mississippi, we the number one hate group in Mississippi. I'm like, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? What the hell we done did, right? So, but I see, but all praises, because it's of the Lord. Right. But it's just like, they'll put that out. But we can call them and say, hey, take that down. The SPLC has been proven time after time after time again to be inaccurate with all their facts, right? And that they money launder, right? That's and right. And steal, right? And propagate false agendas against people. Right, so we, we we but we couldn't call and say, "Hey, take that down." They wouldn't do it. They wouldn't even honor that. But a brother dies, and they say, "Hey, make sure you change that to her." Go ahead, officer. Yeah, what's wild is like you know how they get more rights, you know what I'm saying, as you know what I'm saying, a transgender than they do as you know what I'm saying, a black person. Like, right. for example, like had there been uh, a straight black male, they would have dug all into his past, his history. He sold right. drugs in the fifth grade, and you know, so he got suspended from school. Damn. They bring up his whole history to demonize him, right. and then guess what? You know what? I'm saying the media don't feel no pity for him. No pity but, at like, all. That'd be a trans black woman though, or man, or whatever you want to call it. You know I'm saying now, you know what I'm saying they seen as some type of shining example, even though you know. Whatever he was doing that night on the streets probably wasn't righteous right. 99% of the time. Right. 100% of the time. The, hey. the Lord judged the brother. Yeah, hey, he did. We we understand that. But see, our brothers and sisters in the Christian right. church, you so effeminized and it demas- what is it? Emasculate? emasculated by yeah. American culture, Western civilization, that in your mind, you don't think that God kills. God kills. A brother pulled a trigger. God put the spirit on him to pull that trigger. That's and right. although we don't condone it, we understand it's evil. The most high is the one that does that, right? Prove that for him. Get Deuteronomy 28. I mean, uh, 30, was it 32? Yes, sir. 29. Yes, sir. 32, 29 real quick. Just so, because I don't want nobody to say that, you know, we condone in violence, right? We don't want to, we don't want, we don't want to see our brothers and sisters die in these streets. But once we've given you the gospel and you decide that you don't want to repent and the most high decides to take your life, it is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it. Read the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32 and verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he. Read. And there is no God with me. Go ahead. I kill. What the Bible say? I kill. God says, I kill. And I make alive. And the Lord is the one that makes alive. Read. I wound. God wounds. And I heal. Read. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. No one can deliver out of the hand of God. When God decides that he's going to take your life, whether you're transgender or not, God has given you a um, grace period to get yourself together. You decide that you don't want to do that, and the Most High puts you to death. And he used man to do it. The scripture said man is his sword. The wicked is his sword. He'll use the wicked to do it. Right? For real. So it is what it is at the end of the day. But uh, get the openly gay black bishop ordained, let me say. What? I had looked at this article, by the way. Officer Zariah posted it. So is it good, Officer? Is it a good article? Oh, that was it? Oh, wow. Oh, oh, okay. Freestyle. Yeah. Okay, read that then. <laughs> so, yeah. It says, uh, openly gay black bishop ordained by Missouri Episcopalians. Ain't you from Missouri? Hey, man, I ain't got nothing to do with What the hell going me. on, man? <laughs> we get ahead right there, man. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> read it again, I'm sorry. Openly gay black bishop ordained by Missouri Episcopalians. So, this brother, openly gay black bishop. Now, what they call that again? I forgot. They call it the, the um, Dagon. That's it. All praises. Spirit. Spirit in the building. The Dagon, right? So, that come from ancient times, right? I think it was actually like a fish head at one time. It was like yeah, a fish, right, the right. mouth of fish. Yeah. But, um, yeah, they, the, our brothers and sisters caught up in that Roman Catholicism, man. For real, real heavy. There's a lot of homosexuality. There's a lot of um, um, pedophilia going on in those mm-hmm. in those churches. But we just want to show you that. But get First Timothy three and one. Let's see if a bishop can be gay. Let's see. What's what the Bible say, Ock? First Timothy three. The book of First Timothy chapter three and verse one. This is a true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop, he desireth a good work. A bishop then must be blameless. The, a bishop then must be blameless. Blameless according to what? Get Luke. You know what I want? One. Blameless according to what? What should a bishop be blameless according to? Let's see an example of two blameless people. The book of Luke, chapter 1, and verse 6. Read. And they were both righteous before God, uh-huh. walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, 
blameless. So to be blameless is to walk in righteousness according to all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord. That's what Elizabeth and and um and Zacharias did, which were the mother and father of John the Baptist. This is what that's what they did, right? So go back. First Timothy three. First Timothy verse chapter again. three and verse two. A bishop then must be blameless. So that law we read earlier in Leviticus 18.22 about homosexuality or laying with mankind as you do with womankind, it being an abomination. If you do that, you're not blameless. You, you can be blamed. You ought to be blamed, right, for con, con, committing that particular sin. You think God is not going to hold you guilty for that? Can you read? The husband of one wife. Wait a minute. A bishop is supposed to be a husband of one wife, not a transgender woman. You understand? Not man and man, and you just call yourself the wife, and I call myself the husband. No, the husband of one wife, meaning male and female. So are you, even in the New Testament, they were still keeping the laws that was put in place in Genesis, the first chapter, and in the second chapter, about marriage, about being fruitful and, and multiplying. We got a phone call? I'll pray. Let the, let the phone call in. We're going to finish this. Let me know when they come Hello? on. Shalom, caller. Shalom, caller. You on with uh, Fix Your Face. It's Fix Your Face Friday tonight. Who we got? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is Brother Moshe from IUIC Bakersfield. All praise. Shalom. Thank Christ bless. Happy, happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath happy to you. Sabbath. What you got? Yeah, most high in Christ bless. It seems like if you uh, fit in with the agenda that they have for um, our communities, as far as the Israelite communities, the, uh, you know, the black, the Hispanic, the native communities, and, and their agenda is uh, to kill our children, uh, <clears throat> clan parenting, and then also they keep uh, pushing homosexuality right. on the TV shows. Right, absolutely. So if you fit in with that, they're they're willing to back you up or or uh how do you say, um <clears throat> like, you know, uh make you look like, you know, a victim. Right, right. But but if you don't fit in with that agenda and you're just an, you're just another normal Israelite man, then they will <clears throat> basically, you know, call you a criminal, dig absolutely. up your past. Right. Things like that. Yeah, no, so absolutely. That, yeah, no, absolutely. We appreciate that input. Um, you know what that sound like, what he just said? What that sound like to me is James 4 and 4. Read James 4 and 4. Because it says the same thing. Based off just basically what the brother just said about how that you're, an, you're considered an enemy or a criminal by speaking God's word and living your life in, in normality, right? Which was is normal. It's normal for a man and a woman to be together, to marry. It's not normal for a man and a man or a woman and woman to be together, but yet that is they are trying to push that as being the norm. And if you're with that, then you're a friend to them. But if you don't do that and you you stand up for God and you're an enemy to them, let's see what God says. Get James 4 and 4 real quick. The book of Thank James. Thank you for your call, brother. All praises. Shalom. Most high Christ bless. James chapter 4 and verse 4. Go ahead. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? The friendship of the world... It's enmity with God. If you condone homosexuality, if you agree, if you agree with it, that is, it's an okay lifestyle. It's a healthy lifestyle. God says you are at enmity with Him, meaning against Him. Read. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Now, who wants to be on the opposite God, the opposite side of God? Like this is the same man that flooded the whole earth and left eight people, show no pity for. Billions, millions of people, billions of people show no pity. Say, I'm just going to say eight. I ain't, I'm tired. I'm sick of it. And we read in the Bible where two-thirds of our people in Babylon are going to get put to death. Why would you want to be on the opposite side of that? They don't realize the way they're walking. And this is where your brothers come in and even your sisters trying to correct you. Because you're destined for death if you don't repent of your sin. You're destined for it. You had something? Go ahead, Austin. You had something? Oh, no, I have Okay, I'll praise Hey, um, what was we at? What was it? Go back to that. Was the video we was watching? First, uh, oh, the first article. Timothy. Oh, First Timothy three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, pull that back up. First Timothy three and two again. Yeah. First Timothy chapter three and verse two. A bishop then must be blameless. A bishop must be blameless. The husband of one wife. The husband of one wife. Man and woman. Read. Vigilant. Read. Sober. Sober thoughts and sober as far as you know how you drink. Go ahead. 
of good behavior. Wait a minute. Of good behavior? Is that good behavior? To try to... Mm. Hell no. <laughs> plumbing. <laughs> plumbing, with the, plumbing. Plumbing with the wrong tools, huh? Dang. No, well, sir. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Given to hospitality. Uh-huh. Apt to teach. You can't teach. Mm -mm. You can't teach because in order to be a teacher... You can't be walking in the same thing that you... Here it is. I'm telling you homosexuality is wrong, but I'm a homosexual. I'm telling you smoking weed is wrong, but you smell the weed on my clothes. Like, I can't do that. You're a hypocrite. So they can't be apt to teach. Because that's why when he asked him, he said, wait a minute. So I'm, I'm confused. So you're a homosexual pastor? So why would God call you to be a pastor and a homosexual and not change you? Right. Mm. Like, he was like... Uh, 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 uh. He, he didn't have anything to say because right. he can't teach. God, shut your mouth. You can't speak. Go ahead. Not given to wine. No striker. Not greedy or filthy lucre, but patient. Not a brawler, nor covetous. If he could, he would have knocked uh, Jesse Lee Peterson out. Nah, he ain't got that spirit on him. I'm too effeminate. Hey, I'm going to tell you something. Message. Them, them homosexuals, don't play with them. <laughs> you get them mad. What, am I right? You get them mad enough, they get the... You on the point. <laughs> they get the, what they call it also? What they call it? The... Um, Spin cycle. They, what they call it? The windmill. windmill. <laughs> they start windmill punching on you, but some of them, them some turn of, back. They want, but hey, listen, bro, listen. Some of them throw them hands. Some of them, yeah. I'm gonna say some of these homosexuals. I'm telling you, some of our brothers and sisters in that delusion, they putting it up. They like, okay, what? Well, you know, they get the pop their neck and stuff like that. They ain't, they ain't windmilling. They putting up like this. Yeah. Then you find out they take MMA classes. <laughs> They take right. jujitsu, hammer fist, three times a week. <laughs> <laughs> you are to get yourself put in one of them headlock, one of them uh, Conor maze. McGregor headlock. Oh my god! <laughs> I said, oh, I said, oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> hey, okay, you was with me. One time we was on the street teaching. This was two years ago. You remember this? We was yes, thirty sir. days of camp. We was out mm -hmm. teaching, and when you were there too, it was a late night. We was out there teaching. Bring it out. Man. We was in the spirit. <laughs> I see this brother. This brother was big as hell. I seen him coming down the street. Oh. Now, from far away, you can't really... If somebody big far away, they big. You understand what I'm trying to say? Right. If a brother's a mile away from me, and I see him as if he was right in front of me, how big he would be, right. there's something wrong with that. This dude is huge. So he walking towards us. I don't think none of it. I go back to teaching. We over here on the side. This brother over here on the fly mission at the store <laughs> across the street. I'll say night. This brother right here. Now, outside nights, how tall are you? I'm about 5'10". 5'10", 5'10". So, also 5'10". That ain't, that ain't extremely short, right? So, I'm looking across the street. This brother looks small as hell next to this big old brother. I said, hold up. So, I get to, I get to stand up straight, make sure I'm, you know, I'm pretty tall. I get to stand up straight. Hold up, let me go over here and see what's going on. Because he towering over the brother. He trying to give him a fly like this. Hey, hey officer, <laughs> when I look across the street... You was looking up at the brother. Thank you. Man, how, you were six, six, seven, eight. Six, eight, and, and you were looking up, up at him. This brother seven two, seven one. He big as hell, and he was fat. Big old fat, wide brother. Couldn't even fit through the door. Mm. The hell is this? This dude had on some, in what we call in the South, uh, Daisy Dukes. He was, what, bro, am I wrong? Am I lying? Bro, that's what Tell me if I'm lying, brother. He had on Daisy Dukes shorts. He was big, and he feminine as hell, gay as hell. Oh. Me and him went over there trying to get a brother a fly. He wasn't hearing that. He said, look, if your pastor can't put, if I die and your pastor can't put his hands on me, break me back alive, I ain't coming to your church. I said, we ain't got nobody to do that, bro. Don't <laughs> <laughs> you know, get that fly back. <laughs> you have a nice day, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that brother big as hell. Bro, right. if we would have, if, if we'd have got into it with him and had to fight him, we'd have had to have three, four, five brothers with us. This dude was big. He would have gone backhand every last one of us. And this, I'm talking about me. Hit me with the, so I'm just saying, some of these brothers and sisters in this lifestyle, you don't know what you don't know what they do during the week. These folks, MMA fighters, CrossFit. You better be careful. You better use the Bible. You better use God's use, word. Yeah, hey, use wisdom. <laughs> you better use wisdom. Use wisdom. What it is. Like the hell out of you. I don't know how we got on that. Oh, Keep reading. Verse, <laughs> Keep reading verse four and verse ten. I'm just letting you know. These some of these do big man. You better be careful. We ain't bagging down. But you know, we're gonna use wisdom out there. Dude, 7 2. You talking about you 5 10. He's like, wait, like, what if you'd have been over there trying to rebuke him sharply? Hey, man, I'll, he'd have beat you up by your head, man. I'll he'd have had you up like slick, this. I'm slick, I would. <laughs> <laughs> I would, hey, I would have hey, been back there. I'll pray. Man, he's you, you wisdom, though, bro. Hey, <laughs> hey. Come on, read the scripture, man. 
Woo! Yeah, be careful out you. Read. First Timothy chapter 3, verse 4. Because there's a spirit of anger in them. Like the, when you read in First Timothy, I mean, excuse me, Romans chapter 1, it gives you all the spirits that brothers and sisters that come out of that lifestyle. They talk about like implacable, unmerciful, murder. They got a murderous spirit on them because you, uh, you are coming against the spirit that's in them that's telling them that their lifestyle is okay. Right? So then, so you got to be careful. These folks are trying to attack you. You got to give them. That's why a bishop always tell us, deacons always told us, captains always told us over the years, stay in the scriptures. Use the That's word of God. Right. right? Go ahead. First Timothy chapter 3 and verse 4. One that ruleth well his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity. Hey, let me, hold on. This is part of my head. Give me Matthew, bro. Give me, <laughs> give me Matthew chapter 7 about Cassio Pearl before swine. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you what the scriptures say. Because somebody might say, well, damn, I'm going to bag down. No. I'm going to use wisdom. Get uh, Matthew chapter 7. That's what the scriptures say. Read it. Matthew chapter 7 and verse 6. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs. So that's the other nations, right? Neither cast you your pearls before swine. Understand this. On our brothers and sisters in that wicked mindset, they are like the unclean. Swine is, is symbolic of being unclean, right? So, yes, it's talking about the other nations. But you got brothers and sisters that have defiled minds, right, that are brawlers, right, that carry weapons. And we're going to use the word of God. We know the angels is amongst us. But we're going to use wisdom, too. We're going to try to convert the brother and sister with the scriptures. Mm -hmm. We're not going to get into a shouting match and try to fight the person. Well, like um, leadership been saying a lot lately, camp muscles. Because when there's 20 of us out there, it's easy to rebuke. But when it's two, two by two... <laughs> And you and a brother 5'10", and you 5'9", and this brother 7'1", and he weighed more, more than both of y'all, you can stand on his shoulders, and he still be taller than y'all. You got to use wisdom. <laughs> Don't care what you... Read again. Read the scripture. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs. Go ahead. Neither cast ye your pearls before swine. Go ahead. Lest they trample them under their feet. What did the Bible say? Lest they trample them under their feet. Uh-huh. And turn again and rent you. <laughs> Damn. Damn. I told you. You hear what the Bible say, Ock? You better be careful out here. <laughs> Go back to 1 Timothy chapter 3. I'll pray. Sir, verse 4. He ain't happy. You he heard he said, I'll pray. He ain't happy. He's like, no, I ain't backing down. Okay, brother. Hey, I'm, <laughs> you I'm, know I'm, a prophet hey, been among you. <laughs> I was just reading him the fly, bro. Hey. Deuteronomy 28. <laughs> Whether they're here or hey, there. No, let me tell you about this brother. I'm going to use a confession corner real quick. This brother, this brother, I don't know what it is about his spirit. I don't know if he just go up and just bring, I think he just go up and say, hey, sister, you know you ain't supposed to be wearing them pants. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. I don't think he say, hey, you an Israelite. He just go straight to their sin. So what happened is, <laughs> we'll be over at camp, and he'll be across the street on a fly mission. And next thing you know, it'll become a sound. I can hear him. <laughs> the, per the person get to yelling at him every time. Am I wrong? I got witnesses. Am I wrong? I got witnesses. So when I see him over there talking to this nine-foot uh, homosexual, I said, let me get on. Let me, let me join myself to this chariot. <laughs> and brother, we might have to take this big brother down tonight. Oh, okay. praise Go ahead. <laughs> Read scripture, bro. First Timothy chapter three and verse four. Watch this. One that ruleth well his own house. Go ahead. Having his children. Hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. His children. A bishop supposed to have kids. Mm. He supposed to have one wife to have kids with. I'm, I'm confused. Go ahead. Having his children in subjection with all gravity. Having his children in subjection with all gravity. So I just wanted to go through them scriptures so you can see that's what a bishop supposed to be. Supposed to be blameless according to the commandments. One wife. And have his children that he had would not adopt it. Because that would they'll say, well, I can adopt Me and my husband can adopt a man. What? Me and my wife, can, two women, we can adopt mm. a child. No, that's not what the Bible's talking about. But the thing is, those children still have to be made some way. Uh oh. You know I'm saying heterosexual, you know I'm saying couples, right? Oh, don't cut them. Oh, no. Oh, you don't cut them. No, they ain't ready for it. They ain't ready. <laughs> hey, they got a new thing now where I seen a, uh, uh, it was a clip somewhere where you had uh, a sister. Mm -hmm. She was homosexual, so she was the man in the relationship. Right. And you had the Edomite. Yeah, we watched it on Facebook. He was the woman. Right. He right. Go, yeah. He was the woman. But it, he. But he's... she got he pregnant. <laughs> she got uh, right. Stop. Wait a minute. Wait See that? a minute. Even talking about it is confusing. Wait, wait like you can't minute. even bring wait, it out without wait being confused. Like, hold on. Did I say that right? He. Hold, she got. Wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that. Like you didn't just say what you just said. <laughs> we heard you. <laughs> Get that real quick where it say, um, uh, oh, get a queer positive book. I got to show y'all this. 
A queer positive book. That's what it says. What? Y'all got to see this, bro. Watch this. Don't listen. Don't, I'm telling you, don't be listening to Esau, bro. Don't listen to Esau. Don't listen to Jake either. But don't be the well, unrepentant Jake, I mean. Pull that up real quick. It's called A Queer Positive Book. It's a, it's a video of an Edomite. Pull that up for me. I want to show y'all this real quick. Let's pull that up. Mm-hmm. We're going to get it up there tonight. Lord's will. What we got going? We we having technical difficulties? I can't hear them. They're so far away, I can't hear them. Give me Romans 1 real quick then. Bring while, we, while we wait on them, brothers. You said they ain't got it. Now, you heard me... Whew, it's on the telegram. It's the very last thing posted by but next to those pictures. Like it's right above that. I'll post it again. Oh, praise. Bro, try blame me. Hear that? We ain't got that one. It's in the telegram. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't pull it up. <laughs> but anyway, read scripture. Romans chapter. Romans chapter 1 and verse 24. Go ahead. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness Ugh. through the lust of their own hearts. Wow. To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Wow. That's a bro, that script go hard. Read that again. Wherefore God. Uh oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Come on back. Come on back. <laughs> Wherefore. God also gave them up to uncleanness. Go ahead. Through the lust of their own hearts. Through the lust of their own hearts. It said God also gave them up. Didn't that end up what we read, read early in 2 Thessalonians? Yes, sir. That God would give them a strong delusion. Go ahead. To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. They're dishonoring their body. Why? Because they're bringing shame upon themselves. Mm. They're bringing illness upon themselves. That's what God's telling you. Right? That's what the Lord is telling you. Go right. Uh, skip down well, keep reading 25 through 26 real quick. Who changed the truth of God into a lie. Read. And worshiped and served the creature more than the creator, mm. who is blessed forever. Amen. Read. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. God calls that mm. a vile affection. It's vile, right? Go ahead. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. It's against nature for two women to lay together. Because nothing can come of it, Right. You have pleasure because you got that evil mindset. So you may be able to, your body, you could please your body, but you can't have children. It's unnatural, right? That's an unnatural affection. It's not the natural use of the woman. Natural use of the woman is what we read in Genesis chapter one. But if you got a strong delusion on you, you find pleasure in being with another woman. Makes no sense. Go ahead. And likewise, also the men. Damn. Leaving the natural use of the woman. Wow. Burned in their lust one towards another. Men with men, working that which is unseemly. Wow, read. And, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. That's both mental, spiritual, and physical. Your mindset ain't right. Spiritually, you, you act like a woman. You dress like a woman. You talk like a woman. So your spirit's not right either. And then physically, you're physically bringing ailments upon yourself from that homosexual lifestyle. That's what God's telling you. Mm. Wait, I was Let me get get on Ezekiel 16 and 17. Bring it out. Because like how you're saying in Romans chapter 1, and those things that they were bringing in unto themselves that were unseemly, they were doing the same thing back then that they're doing nowadays. Yep, Ezekiel 16 and verse 17. The book of Ezekiel chapter 16 and verse 17. Bring it out. Thou hast also taken the, thy fair jewels of my gold and of my silver, which I had given thee, and made us to thyself images of men. So it says they made us wow. thyself images of what? Of men. Of men. Keep reading. We're going to figure out what it's actually talking about. And did us commit whoredom with them. So these images that they took with that silver and gold, they formed and fashioned it and made images of men. And they committed whoredom with those things. So the same thing is going on nowadays. I was saying dudes, I was saying with, I was saying rides running up inside of them. I was saying women doing Dang. the same thing. I was saying, hey, the same thing they was doing back then, they're doing now. Right. I was saying ain't nothing new beneath the sun. Nothing new. Hey, we got the video. That's a good script, too. I'll pray the most time. Write that down. You got the video? Did you find it? Yeah, they found it. Oh, praises. Go forward to three minutes. So this Edomite is supposed to be a reverend, doctor, whatever. Now, this is the first thing she's going to use. Read that. Nick. And first of all, isn't it interesting that the very first Christian convert was a person of color? But what was a eunuch? 
Well, some eunuchs were men that were forcibly castrated, but the vast majority of eunuchs were those who either chose to be castrated or their bodies Pause were it. Who chooses off. to be castrated? Mm. That was forced in slavery, right? No one chooses that, right? They was big have been a eunuch saying that they just going um uh they're going to be asking it or what's the word? Celibate mm. and focus on doing the work of the Lord, right? But no one chooses to be castrated. It makes no sense. Some pain uh, I couldn't even imagine. Go ahead. They just had absolutely no interest in heterosexual sex. Therefore, they were safe around the king's harems. So I feel totally safe in saying that the very first Christian convert was a queer person of color. Paul, and that's in the dang. Bible. What? These folks wicked as hell. You see how they twist scripture? Damn. That's crazy. I thing I dislike the most about this is how they try to equate the homosexuality with the plight of the so-called black man and black mm. woman. They don't go together. It ain't right. the same thing. Stop doing that. That's crazy. <laughs> and then she lying because Philip wasn't no Edomite. You saw the picture, right? It had Philip and then it had the Ethiopian eunuch on his knees mm -hmm. being, you know, baptized or whatever, being converted, right? The eunuch was an Israelite from Ethiopia, right? Coming back to his heritage, learning about Christ. Philip was one of the disciples. You understand? And he was black, right? So I hate when they put them false That's images up right. there and they and they force on. See? But you see, like you said, they put homosexuality and black together. That's not by design. I mean, that's not by uh, coincidence. That's by design. That is a planned attack on us and our manhood. And she said, I feel safe in saying it. You, I don't know why you feel safe in saying it. You're lying. Go ahead. These four oh. wicked as hell, man. And Philip didn't want to baptize the eunuch because Philip thought that the eunuch was sexually unclean. What, now, what, what do we read that in the script? Philip to what? baptize them <sighs> by knowing their Bible and quoting scripture at Philip. Lesson for all of us. Watch Here's this, another painting, and this one I'm sure is familiar to all of you. Y'all know this picture. This is the Last Supper. That's this all inaccurate, by, by the way. Da Vinci. And it's everywhere, and it's in every church just about. They're all men. They're the 12 disciples sitting next to Jesus in the middle. But look at the one that's circled. That's John the Baptist. What? The disciple. Hold of up. Jesus. <laughs> no, pause. We're not doing this. That's my favorite prophet. You know this. I've said this before. What? You're not going to deal with John like that. What? First of all, when the Last Supper happened, was John the Baptist alive? No. Nope. Hell no. Mm -mm. <laughs> had, John, had John been uh, what they call decapitated? decapitated. Had his, hadn't he had his head cut off way before that? Damn, that's right. So I'm trying to figure out. See, that's why I said don't listen. If you don't know the Bible, you'll listen to that. This is why women don't teach. This is why they listen. Y'all supposed to get offended when we tell you you're not, you don't need to be teaching. Because what happens is, and some of you sisters are well studied. I'll pray to the Most High. But sometimes you sisters want to add your own emotion into the scriptures. Now, you add that times a million with the devil herself. You understand? And try to get break. She said, yeah, that's John the Baptist. No, sir. <laughs> you the devil the Bible speak of, man. Hey, get that real quick. Yes, In Matthew 4, is it 14? Where it say John was the cap? Give me that real quick. I'm sorry. I just got it. 14, 6, yeah. You about to say something else? Go ahead. Mm -mm. John 14, 6. Matthew chapter wow. 14 and verse 6. But when Herod's birthday was kept, the daughter of Herodias danced before them and pleased Herod, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. And she being before instructed of her mother, uh, Edomite, she devil, read, said, Give me here John Baptist's head in a charger. She wanted John Baptist's head because John rebuked her and Herod said, Hey, you can't have her. That's your, <laughs> that's your brother wife, man. You're man. breaking the law of God. Right. You understand? Herod was embarrassed and she was embarrassed. So he said, yeah, kill him for me. Go ahead. And the king was sorry, nevertheless, for the old sake. And then which sat with him at meat, he commanded it to be given her. Go ahead. And he sent and beheaded John in the prison. So John is dead duh, before the Last Supper. Boy, I tell you, go ahead. And his head was brought in the charger and given to the damsel, and she brought it to her mother. Here's the kicker right here. This is the, the head buster right here. Read. And his disciples 
came and took up the body and buried it and went and told Jesus. No, nah, they were sitting at the uh, Last Supper <laughs> together. <laughs> he decapitated no head. He walked. Remember how back in the day they used to have a little Halloween? Right. <laughs> the headless right. horseman. John the Baptist, the headless horseman, riding around hell with badger no. skin. And, man, get the hell out of here, man. You guys, that's why I said these folks have to stop teaching the Bible, man. Go back to the video real quick. It's something else he said about John the Baptist pissed me off. <laughs> Love. And Leonardo was part of a huge tradition that always painted John the Baptist as a feminine man. Oh, God. Now, we don't really know why that tradition started, but we do know this, that there obviously wasn't anything wrong with being a feminized man. Pause it! <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, wait this is why minute. they got to stop teaching us. This is why the lawyers say, what has thou to do to declare my statutes or to take my covenant in thy mouth? See is that thou hatest instruction. Damn, man. man, get First Corinthians six, man. It's funny because she holding the Bible and she ain't opening nine and one. Right. <laughs> she she, she memorized as a prop. Just mm. she she done memorized right. the whole Bible. Man, these folks demonic, man. And he, but th but this is where our brothers and sisters in the Christian faith that mm -hmm. fall under the category of being homosexual or transgender, this is where they go to get their validation. They go to to Esau. Esau says, you can do this. Esau says, John the Baptist. No, that was a woman. That was an actual woman that they painted in there, right? That was not when um, um, Rodrigo Borgia and all them, when they, when they changed the images, they started putting, because remember, Rome was notoriously known for homosexuality. That's where Saturnalia comes from, mm -hmm. Lupercalia. These were homosexual, demonic, evil, orgy-ridden, sex-ridden holidays that they were, they were doing. It was always known that they were evil, wicked. When he was writing to the Romans, he was saying, hey, look, y'all don't get caught up in that. That vile affection. Why? Because the Romans was doing that. The Edomites was doing that. So when you see them painting images and they putting these homosexual looking images or these images of women in these posts, and then now later on in 2021, transgender and Edomite uh, <clears throat> homosexuals, I'm trying to use nice words. <laughs> the homosexuals is putting that out and saying, okay, look, this is how they were back then. It was nothing wrong with that. Well, listen to what Paul, the Apostle Paul said. Read that. Because maybe she know more than Paul. Maybe she was there when Paul was alive. Hell maybe she no. was the one that got knocked off the horse in Damascus. <laughs> no, the hell is this? First Preach Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. Read know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Read. Be not deceived. So don't be deceived. Neither fornicators. Read. Nor idolaters. Read. Nor adulterers. Nor effeminate. Go back five seconds in the video so we can make sure that Esau uh, gets cut on their lies. Go back, please, for me. Ten seconds for me, please. That was part of a huge tradition that always painted John the Baptist as a feminine man. He was dead, now, dummy. We don't really know why that tradition started, but we do know this that there obviously wasn't anything wrong with being a feminized man. Pause it. In Leonardo. Play it again. Read, read it again, excuse me. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators. Neither fornicators. Nor idolaters. Nor idolaters. Nor adulterers. Nor adulterers. Nor effeminate. Nor what? Effeminate. So, Paul, the Bible contradicts that statement. That it's okay with being an effeminized man. No, it's not. God not okay with that. God want manly men. He want men that's going to command their household, have their children in subjection, be blameless according to the law, husband of one wife. Because I know a lot of brothers got offended, they offended by that. <laughs> one wife, brothers. That's what the scripture says, right? Go ahead. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. So right after he says he feminine, he then follows it up with saying, what? Read it again. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Go ahead. Nor thieves. Go ahead. Nor covetous. Go ahead. Nor drunkards. Read. Nor revilers. All that. So, because you know what Christians do? They get, they get offended and they say, well, you can't just point out homosexuality and don't say anything about idolatry or adultery. No, we saying something about that too. We tell brothers, don't be up in here getting drunk. Same thing. We're going to deal with all the commandments because that's what the scriptures tell us to do. Go ahead. No extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. That's your what? Shall inherit the kingdom of God. Hey, I just got a, a text message from Officer um, Eli from um, North Carolina. And it's heavy what he said. He said, Romans chapter 1, Paul started with the homosexual agenda. Mm. 
He went in on that first. Right. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So what you talking about? He goes in on that. We got to call. Let the caller come in. We got a few more minutes. Come on in, caller. Hey, Shalom. Shalom. Most high Christ bless you on with uh, Fix Your Face Friday. I want to say Escape Plantation. You on with Fix Your Face Friday. Who we speaking with? Hey, this is Zay, bro. How's it going, man? Shalom. Shalom. Most high Christ bless. How are you doing? I'm good, brother. I'm man. I got, man, I got so many questions. <laughs> All right. Um, well, number one, I mean, I'm like, thank you to you guys for doing what you do. And um, you guys, man, my head hurts so much for all the information that I have I'll from praise. you guys. But I need to ask you about the, uh, I think it was John, First John 2 and 2, about who the, um, let, me find, let me find my notes. One second. The notes. Um, First John 2 and 2, who the um, whole world that they're referring to in that verse is. All praises, all praises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll deal with that real quick. Because I know, I know you guys have a bunch, like a bunch of different definitions of the world. You know, uh, um, as far as like Israel being the world without end. Right. But in the uh, verse, it talks about how Jesus came not only for our sins but the sins of the whole world. Can right. You talk to me about what that means. Yes. Okay. So understand something. Um, during the time that the disciples lived and the apostles lived, right. There had to be a um, ministry to the northern kingdom of Israel, right? So uh -huh. when he says not unto us only, or if not, said not for our sins only, meaning us the Jews only, but also for the sins of the whole world. And I'm going to give you an understanding on that real quick. Let's go to the book of Exodus real quick, chapter 18. You might be wondering why you're going to Exodus. I'm going to show you. Let's go to Exodus real quick. We're going to read chapter 29. We're going to read about the garment or the breastplate that our forefathers, Aaron and his lineage, wore, the high priest, right? So let's get straight to the point. Go to Exodus 28. Let's read verse 15. Exodus 28 and verse, 15. Yeah, we're going, to read right. that. we're going to read that for you real quick, down to 21. Let's read that real quick. The book of Exodus, chapter 28, verse 15. And I shall make the breastplate of judgment with cunning work after the work of the ephod. Uh -huh. Thou shalt make it of gold, of blue, and of purple. And of scarlet and of fine twined linen shall thou make it. So the breastplate of judgment, he wanted to make it with all these different colors. The Lord has given Moses the understanding of how he wants it made. Read. For a square, it shall be by being it shall be being doubled. Read. A span shall be the length thereof, and a span shall be the breadth thereof. Watch this, read. And thou shalt set in it settings of stones. So he had to set stones on this breastplate. You've probably seen this before, right? Go ahead. Even four what? rows of stones. Four rows, read. The first row shall be a sardius. Sardius. A topaz. Read. And a carbuncle. Read. This shall be the first so row. that's that first row across right there, right? Come on. And the second row shall be an emerald. Pull that up for me. Pull the image up for me of the breastplate of the ephod. Uh, pull it up for me. Go ahead. And the second row shall be an emerald, a sapphire, and a diamond. And the third row, a liger, and a gate, and an amethyst. Go ahead. And the fourth row, a beryl, and an onyx, and a jasper. They shall be set in gold in their enclosings. So don't fall asleep on me. Read, show me that yeah, picture real quick. I want you to see this because I know when we're reading this sometimes, you, we're trying, you're trying to visualize what, we're, what is being read. So I'm going to show you on the screen what he's describing, right? So pull that up for me real quick. Uh, oh, my goodness. Pull it, my God, this thing wicked as hell. Zoom in, zoom in. We're going to act like we didn't even see that. Zoom in. Hey. Zoom in. So this is Aaron's breast, breastplate, full size with all real stones. So you see this brother on the screen? Can you see this? Uh-huh. That's yeah. what we're reading right now being described. Go ahead. Right. Keep reading. Start back over. Or no, keep reading verse uh, 21 now. And the stones shall be. And the stones shall be with the names of the children of Israel, 12 according to their names. So the stones shall be with the names of the children of Israel, 12 according to their names. Read. Like the engravings of a signet. Read. Every one with his name shall they be according to the 12 tribes. So I read that to show you this. Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon 18, verse 24. So when John said, not for our sins only, but also for the sins of the whole world. I went and showed you that the breastplate that the high priest wore was of the whole world. Go ahead. 
Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 18 and verse 24. Go ahead. For in the long garment was the whole world. Read it again. For in the long garment was the whole world. For in the whole long garment was what? The whole world. So the whole world of Israel. That's what that was talking about. It's talking about the whole world of the Israelites, all 12 tribes. You got that understanding, brother? Yes, sir. Amazing. All praises. Man, all praises. Can, can, can I ask one more, bro? Well, we got to set it down. We passed our time, bro. But I tell you what oh, you sorry, do. Man. High school. I tell you what you do. Get to a local school near you, whatever your school is in your local area. If you're close, go by. Them brothers will be able to answer your questions, all right? But we got to jump off. All right. So I pray y'all brothers and sisters, all praise the most high. Shalom, brother. Happy Sabbath. So I pray you brothers and sisters got something from the lesson today. Um, how can a bishop be blameless and gay? Obviously, you see that can't be the case. It's not the case. It's not according to scripture. Uh, we want to thank the most high for allowing us to have this platform to teach our brothers and sisters. I'm also got a liar. IUIC Jackson to my right. Officer Mathon. To my left. Officer Ananija. To my far right. Officers arrive. To my far left. I was a whole zone. And with that, we say shalom, most high in Christ bless. Happy Sabbath. Shalom. Y'all were getting on Mississippi, man. Talking about the South ain't got bars. Legion. Watch this. I'm a Mississippi renegade, cotton picking lemonade. Hop out, smiling ear to ear. It's the Sabbath day. Camp drop off the fly, look at the center face. Sisters tried to holler last week and should have seen her face. Never heard a black man in the light talk to her this way. She mad because I cut her with the strips. Now 